All right, so hopefully you already have a Google Voice account. If you don't, there's other tutorials out there that you should um, go through really quick and just have it set up. Just get a phone number, get Google Voice set up, and then um, uh, the important thing here is actually you have to disable Google two-step verification. Uh, a lot of people have problems with this. When they try to use PBXES or they try to use a, a PBX server, uh, Google doesn't allow them to connect to it, so they're unable to make phone calls. So um, whatever you have to do to get uh, Google two-step verification disabled, do it. Secondly, log into your actual um, Gmail account through Google. Um, and this is on by default. If you look on the left side, it looks like I can make phone calls here. That's on by default. You don't want that. That's going to give you trouble making calls. So go into your options here by hitting that little cogwheel, settings, go to chat, and see it's on by default. You want to turn this off. You want to disable this. Hit save. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm in an emulator right now. This is an emulator. This is in my actual phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 2, so it looks a little bit different. And your phone might look a little different, too. Uh, keep that in mind as I'm going through these tutorials that even though this is just an emulator, it's going through the basic uh, settings. Now, this is important, too. Everything I'm telling you, by the way, is important. You have to do it. Um, you go to, uh, if you didn't see that, you go to all your apps, scroll over to the Talk app, which, which is usually on by default, too. Now, you're going to have to sign out of here. By default, it, it shows you as available. This is Gtalk. You don't, wanna, you don't want this on because it might screw up your phone calls as well. So you sign out of Gtalk on your actual device, on your phone. And then um, we're going to go over to the uh, voice.google.com now. Okay, now we're over at uh, voice.google.com. Same thing. Go over to the cogwheel, hit settings. Um, forget about what you've learned from other forums and other websites. Just, just trust me and just copy these settings. Now, you want to forward your calls to Google Chat. You check that box. Hit Edit. Um, voicemail access, hit No, because if you want to access your voicemail, you're going to use either this website itself or you're going to use the Google Voice uh, app on your phone. Ring schedule, put Always on weekends, um, Always on weekdays, and hit Save. Now, uncheck your um, cell phone here. You don't want it forwarding to your cell phone. At least I don't. I, w I don't want anything to do with that number. I don't want anything to do with that carrier number. Uh, I want to go completely through Google Chat, and that's it. So I uncheck that. Um, if you hit Edit and go to Advanced Settings in your phone, same thing. Um, actually, you don't want voice access here, too. In fact, you want to disable your um, voicemail through your carrier themselves. Um, yeah, um, forwarding options. If you want to completely get rid of it, you can uh, select Go to Straight. Uh, straight to voicemail here, so um, I have ring my other phones. I don't. I don't really care about that. Nobody calls that number anyway. Voicemail and text tab. Um, nothing really fancy here. Uh, yeah, I just hit transcribe voicemails. Um, in calls, you want call screening off. That's a big pain in the padded ass. Call caller ID. Show caller's number. Display caller's number. Don't change anything. Um, I I put place calls in miss box uh, or the miss calls in the inbox rather. And uh, the spam filtering you want enabled. You don't want anything else here. You can um, for recording. You can record either on your actual app, CSIP Simple, on your phone, if you want to record, or you can uh, actually record in your Asterisk server itself when we get that set up. And I think that's it for um, for Google Voice. By the way, just as a note, if you're um, if you get this all set up and you're still having troubles making uh, trouble making calls out out and, and getting receiving calls as well. One of the things you could try is ch actually changing your Google Voice password or your Google password because one of the accounts might be logged in somewhere, whether it's another phone or another computer, might be logged into Gchat, Google Chat or something, and blocking your access. I've, I've noticed I had trouble with that too. I've seen other people have trouble. So just try ch changing your password. If you get it all set up and you're using the same settings as me and you're still having trouble making calls, that, that might fix any kind of problem you have. All right, so we're going to get on to actually installing Incredible PBX and setting it up. I should mention one more thing about Google Access. Um, there's a website here, accounts.google.com slash display unlock captcha. Now, um, if, when your Asterisk server is about to make its first connection to Google Voice when you type in your login and password, um, you might want to go to this website on another computer and um, enable this. Hit continue. This will basically allow for the next 10 minutes Google to um, accept a new account. It's some weird security me measure. It's, uh, it's another, um, another thing you might want to keep in mind because some people have trouble with this as well. I'll link it in the actual description too.